We burn fossil fuels, carbon dioxide builds in the atmosphere, the climate warms. It's essentially that simple. In 2018, CO2 in the Earth's atmosphere breached 410 parts per million for the first time in recorded history. This graph shows two pieces of information. The black line depicts the overall upwards trend caused by human activities. The red zigzag shows the increases and decreases caused by the Earth's natural carbon cycle. Understanding the dynamics of atmospheric CO2 is key to combat climate change. Following the Paris Agreement, 177 countries have pledged to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and, as a result, a transparent system to monitor and report CO2 emissions is required. As existing observation networks do not meet these requirements, report-based estimates following strict international guidelines are currently used. Copernicus, the European Union's Earth Observation Programme, plans to build a support capacity to consistently monitor anthropogenic CO2 emissions, combining in situ and satellite observations with detailed models of the atmosphere and biosphere. The proposed Sentinels will have better performance and coverage than current satellites to achieve worldwide monitoring of CO2 emissions. The support capacity will enable 1. The detection of emitting hotspots. 2. The monitoring of the hotspots emissions to assess emission reductions. 3. Detailed data at a regional level for the assessment of emissions changes against local reduction targets. 4. The assessment of national emissions changes in five-year steps to estimate global impact. Copernicus has an excellent track record of turning science into services and will deliver an observation-based CO2 service which will constitute an essential tool for the European Union to help the world in combating climate change.